Ladies and gentlemen, once again, it is my profound pleasure to introduce... Roll one, scene one, take one. Action. Chris Markovich, I'm a street skater, and uh, I'm here to instigate the mischief on tour. Bam Margera, professional skateboarder. Bam! I gotta go. What's up? My name is Willie Manoloto Santos. My primary objective out here for the Tony Hawk Skate Park Tour is to skate, rip, promote, bam. <laughs> What's up? I'm Bucky Lassick. I was brought on this tour kind of as a reliever. I believe I'm here also as a playmaker, one that makes it happen. Hey, I'm Matt Hoffman. I'm a bike rider. I really just came on the tour because I was thinking about getting one of these buses and I thought it would be the best opportunity to test drive one. My name is Barry Zuritsky. I'm here hired for the safety of the skaters and the bikers and the crew. My name is Jason Ellis. I'm a professional skateboarder slash commentator, slash injure myself, slash comic relief. Is that all right? Hi, my name is Andy McDonald. I came on this tour because Mr. Tony Hawk invited me. I'm Mike Escamilla, professional bike rider. My whole purpose on this trip is to um, try to leave each skate park walking and uh, have fun. Go. Can you please make sure that I'm off camera to the left of the screen, please? Robert Earl, professional artist, stylist, actor, renaissance man, uh, general artisan, voyeur, fashion, fashionista. I don't skate, I don't bike, I'm here to be. That's, that's good, that's nice. Hello, my name is Tony Hawk. I'm a professional vert skater and occasional street hobbyist. This tour was my brainchild, and uh, I take full responsibility. Basically, skateboarding is skateboarders. It's whatever we make it. Through skateboarding, you can express yourself. There's no right or wrong way to do it. I think that's definitely what attracts a lot of people to skateboarding. You can do it however, whenever you want. With this tour, it opens the door to these people that would normally never have any contact with skateboarding at all except seeing the kid in the parking lot flipping the board or getting in the way of the, of the car, you know? People get to see what it's really like. You're gonna see stuff that's really creative and hard and if someone crashes 10 times, they're gonna get up and do it again. To be a skater and to be a professional skateboarder, You've got to be persistent, and if you're going to try something, you've got to follow through, you know, if you want to push the limits, if you want to push yourself. Even when we're practicing alone, if we're trying something over and over, we're just going to keep doing it until we get it. And now people get to see that perseverance live. I 
think that really changes people's opinion on people and on the sport when they see how much pain and how much dedication it really takes to do stuff. I think for a little while, you know, everybody just wanted to get all the tricks. And now everybody has all the tricks. And now it's like, now it's going back to where it's like, what can your imagination do, you know, and not so much what can your 10 hours of training do. It's fitting, I think, that the condor comes in. He flies in for this last leg. This is exactly what I was hoping this would be. I think even the other riders are feeling that. You know, the younger guys are going, I'm in the, the, the company of some legends here. That's the whole reason I'm on this tour, is because I saw the, the Rasta, you know, and I, and, I, and I saw the parks we were going to, and, and I just want to ride hardcore. We do have Andy Mack with us in case we get in trouble in Washington, D.C. He is buddies with uh, President Clinton. I did a speech and introduced the, the President of the United States last summer as a skateboarder. But the irony in walking outside the White House that day and realizing that if I jump on my skateboard, um, you know, Washington, D.C., it's outlawed to skateboard there. You get busted, I can get thrown in jail for skateboarding. It's just kind of hypocritical to, to deprive someone's creative outlet. My name is Andy McDonald. I just showed up uh, last night and was like, okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to get some clues uh, from, from the veterans. How come we don't get breakfast? Look, you don't come on the third leg and start running the show. All right, here's the first trick right here. And he's, you know, he doesn't know what's going on right now. He has no idea. And, and because I'm his teammate, it's sort of, it's up to me to sort of, you know what I mean? Where he means. McDonald, if he wasn't an X game winner, he wasn't coming on. What, world champion? I'm just gonna go with it. I mean, there's nothing that you can really do. By the end of the tour, Andy will be amazingly exciting. We're not leaving until this is made. It'll, he'll be the funniest guy on tour. We're all skateboarders and we all have our own styles. And basically, we're all here to have a good time and skateboard new stuff. Like, I had never been to that park today. <laughs> I kind of expected DC to be big because it's the biggest skate park, you know, it's the Vans Park. The place is huge and it's just three people deep around the whole area. It looked like a football field with people standing around outside of the fence. Today there was probably 1,200 kids. I think they maxed out the park today. Everyone there today was there to see skateboarding, to see the demo and to see the, the pros that are on this tour. So. It was a great feeling getting off the bus and going in and slapping everybody five. And, yeah, we're here, we're gonna skate right on. This is the first one where they had the security, like, no, you can't go in until you get security. What are you talking about? Come on, no, really, you can't go in. The scariest part is getting to the ramp. The crowds are crazy. This is like the coup d'etat, this last leg, because everyone's been watching it, and when we get there, they know who we are. All right, not the coup d'etat, the cherry on top. This thing is spread out all over the place. There's like three or four separate street courses.
park is amazing, but how are people going to actually be able to benefit from seeing the demo? We did a demo on one street course and then moved over to another one and there was already a crowd there. It, was like, it wasn't like the crowd had to shift and go see it over here. It was like there was just an abundance of crowds surrounding the place and no matter where we went, there were people that got to see it. We'll refer to this as the shotgun demo because everyone was like, poo, everywhere. It was kind of weird because the Vans Park has about six street courses, so you kind of had to pick which one you were going to skate. A few people started getting over the only street course, and they started going to other ones. I started to go to the one in the corner, and everybody's just all spread out. It's another day at the office. Dirty job, but someone got to do it. I try and get as much camera time as I can. So if I see something planning something, I will try and get into that shot zone. I like to call it the shot zone. I love watching the vert. It's just fun to watch, you know what I mean? I like having a lot of vert guys. Get a little break up on the deck. It's been like seven, eight months, you know, since I've seen the Birdman 